and a very superior form of stock car racing. In a breaker's yard. But now to a world where they don't display quite so much loving care for their vehicles. Tension mounts in the pits as Formula One cars prepare for combat. But these are no Grand Prix cars, they're Formula One stock cars. With huge 7-litre American V8 engines pushing out 650 brake horsepower, these specially built cars are among the most powerful in any motorsport. Despite huge popularity, the sport has managed to escape the attention of works teams and big-time sponsorship. Drivers and their families meet to race for fun and friendship, off the track at least. It's a good weekend out, and we really enjoy it. It's good comradeship, and everybody's your friend. Very good. But, like all motorsport, this kind of racing costs money. The best cars can cost up to £20,000, although it is possible to start for a lot less. Um, well, this is uh, a fairly old engine. Uh, probably looking around about sort of £800, £900 worth of, of car. But this, it's expenses like the tyres and things like that, which does make it start making it expensive after a while. Even at world championship level, costs need not be prohibitive. If you're careful and look after your engines, although they're expensive initially, they last a long time. But if, you, if you're not careful and abuse, abuse your tackle, it wears out quickly. The cars are built like tanks to survive the constant knocks and crashes as they charge around the quarter-mile tarmac or shale track at 70 miles an hour or more. Amazingly, the sport has a very good safety record. On the starting grid, the cars are lined up with the slowest and least experienced drivers first. The coloured roofs show how well they're doing, with championship winning silver and gold tops bringing up the rear. The first car to complete the 16 to 25 lap race is the winner. So, after a textbook display, the day's winner was Lancashire dairy farmer John Lund. Well, John, congratulations. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. And uh, here we, a great pleasure in presenting you with the Top Gear Trophy, the first ever. Thank you. For this uh, splendid event here at Northampton. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Listen, I mean, uh, people say that this is sort of destruction, darling, but you could have fooled me today. Is, is it normally as bad as this? No, it isn't normally as bad as this. Um, I think that, as I was talking to you earlier, I said... Um, when you're at the back, you can watch things happen and, and weigh the job up. And uh, today, they all seem to go like a bullet to well, get Well, I, I must say it was remarkable because you had a very, very clear run despite all this debris yeah. everywhere. You just didn't seem to have nothing in front of you. I just managed to avoid it all. I think but, that's half the secret of it, having a bit of luck and getting the gaps at the right time. If your appetite's been whetted, you can see Formula One stock car races at a dozen venues in Britain and there are over 70 meetings between now and the end of the year.